Have you ever felt stuck or stagnant in your life? That feeling arises because the force of your existence has been blocked. This invisible force influences every aspect of your being, mind, body, and spirit, its energy, the essence of life itself flowing through our bodies and connecting us to the universe. But what is the nature of this energy? Is it as physicist Thomas Young once proposed, simply the quantity of mass multiplied by velocity squared, or is it something more transcendental that can influ, hence the very essence of reality? Let's delve deeper into the nature of energy as we embark on this journey to master the invisible force of our existence. We must first understand energy's nature and its profound impact on our lives. Energy flows through all living beings, animating them and sustaining their existence. Despite its intangible nature, energy holds immense power over our lives, influencing our thoughts, emotions, and actions in significant ways. By embarking on this journey, we can clear all energy blockages, those barriers that hinder our growth and fulfillment, paving the way for a life of abundance and harmony. Energy is not merely a concept or a scientific phenomenon. It is the very fabric of reality permeating every aspect of the cosmos in ancient traditions and spiritual teachings. Energy is often depicted as a vital life force. Known by many names, such as Ki Prana or Chi, we'll explore these concepts in depth later. But for now, we need to recognize that we often overlook the importance of energy in our daily lives. In our modern world, we are frequently caught up in the hustle and bustle of our busy schedules, yet beneath the surface, energy continues to shape our experiences and influence the way we interact with the world to... Master this force is to unlock the secrets of our existence, transcend the limitations of the material world, and tap into our true potential. However, mastering energy requires more than just understanding it, demands a deep connection with oneself, a journey of self-discovery and transformation. By cultivating this connection, we can learn to harness and direct our energy, leading to greater personal fulfillment. And a deeper sense of purpose just as energy can flow freely through our bodies and environments, it can also be disrupted. An energy blockage occurs when this flow is impeded too strongly. Such blockages represent any obstacles that hinder the free flow of energy throughout the body or higher self. These blockages can manifest on multiple levels and arise from various sources. Trauma, stress, negative thought, patterns, bad habits, or apathy. Identifying and clearing these blockages is crucial for restoring harmony and vitality to our lives, enabling energy to flow freely as it should in its natural state. Before we proceed, let's learn how to identify and locate energy blockages. These blockages might manifest as pervasive thoughts or an inability to move forward, a lack of motivation or inspiration, or a sense of being trapped. In repetitive patterns or behaviors, emotionally individuals with energy blocks may feel drained, lethargic, or emotionally numb, unable to access their usual sense of vitality or enthusiasm for life. These feelings are often accompanied by a general sense of disconnection from oneself and others, as well as a pervasive feeling of dissatisfaction or discontentment. Physically, energy blocks can present as persistent. Discomfort or tension in specific areas of the body. This discomfort can range from mild to severe and may manifest as localized pain, stiffness or tightness in muscles and joints. Beyond physical and emotional symptoms, energy blocks can also disrupt mental clarity and cognitive function. This disruption may appear as difficulty concentrating or making decisions as well as a tendency towards negative or Obsessive thinking patterns in severe cases, energy blocks can even lead to a complete disconnect from the higher self, as the body's natural energy flow becomes increasingly inhibited. Recognizing these symptoms is the first step towards healing in and rebalancing your energy by becoming aware of where and how these blockages manifest. You can begin to address and clear them, restoring the natural flow of energy and enhancing your overall well-being. Whether through meditation, mindfulness practices, physical exercises, or seeking professional help, 
Clearing these blockages can lead to profound improvements in your physical, emotional, and spiritual health. Recognizing and acknowledging these signs of energy blocks is an essential first step towards addressing them and restoring balance to the body, mind, and spirit. When our energy is in balance and harmony, we experience a sense of vitality and well-being moving through life with ease. And grace, the key to mastering our energy, lies in recognizing and understanding these blockages, those obstacles that prevent the free flow of energy throughout our being. One powerful tool for clearing energy. Blockages is mindfulness, the practice of cultivating present. Moment awareness and non-judgmental acceptance of our thoughts, feelings, and sensations through mindfulness. We can observe the patterns and tendencies of our energy, noticing where it becomes stuck or stagnant. With this awareness, we can then gently guide the flow of energy, releasing tension and resistance wherever it may arise by focusing on the breath and observing its natural rhythm. We can calm the mind. Release tension and promote the free flow of energy throughout the body to practice find a quiet space. Close your eyes and bring your attention to the sensation of the breath as it enters and leaves your body. Notice the rise and fall of your chest or the sensation of air passing through your nostrils. If your mind begins to wander, gently bring your focus back to the breath without judgment or criticism in addition to formal meditation practices incorporating mindfulness into daily activities can also help reduce energy blockages pay attention to the sensations of eating walking or even washing dishes bringing your full awareness to the present moment notice the colors textures and smells around you and savor each moment fully by bringing mindfulness to everyday activities, you can cultivate a deeper sense of presence and connection, reducing stress and promoting overall well-being. Moreover, acts of kindness, compassion, and empathy can help dissolve energy blockages when we engage in these positive actions. We foster a collective consciousness of love and understanding, which can have a healing effect on our energy flow. Helping others and being kind can generate a positive feedback loop that not only benefits those around us but also enhances our own sense of well-being and connectedness with that. Said it's time to explore the truth about the different types of energies we have within. Throughout human civilization, various belief systems have proposed different concepts of the invisible force of our existence. Understanding these energies can offer deeper insights into how we Function and how we can optimize our lives in ancient traditions energy is often referred to by various names, qi in Chinese culture, prana in Indian traditions, and qi in other Eastern philosophies. These concepts all point to a vital life force that flows through all living beings, sustaining their existence and connecting them to the universe. Recognizing and working with these energies can help us achieve Balance and harmony in our lives. Ki prana and chi are not merely abstract concepts, but are seen as the essential forces that drive all life processes. They are believed to flow through specific channels in the body, such as meridians in Chinese medicine or nadis in yoga. When these channels are open and the energy flows freely, we experience health and well being. However, blockages in these channels can lead to physical, emotional, and spiritual imbalances, understanding these different types of energy and their flow within our bodies is crucial for our overall health and spiritual growth. By practicing mindfulness, engaging in positive actions, and learning about these ancient concepts, we can begin to clear energy blockages and restore the natural flow of energy. This journey of self-discovery and transformation will help us tap into our true potential and live more fulfilling lives. Let's delve into the concept of prana, a fundamental element in various spiritual traditions such as Yoga Aida and Indian martial arts. Prana is often referred to as the life force energy, an essential vitality that sustains all living beings and permeates the entire universe. It exists on all levels of reality, including inanimate objects, underscoring its all-encompassing nature. Prana flows through subtle energy channels known as nadis, 
which crisscross the body in a network similar to the meridians in traditional Chinese medicine in here. Hindu literature, prana is depicted as originating from the sun, acting as a connecting force between the elements of existence. This connection underscores the belief that prana is not only a physical phenomenon, but also a spiritual and cosmic one. Within these texts, prana is divided into five types, collectively known as the five values. Each value carries distinct energetic qualities and functions within the body, governing vital processes such as breath, circulation, digestion, and elimination. The five views integral to the understanding of prana within the body encompass various aspects of energy flow and vitality. Prana, value seated in the head and centered in the third eye, facilitates the intake of breath and sensory impressions, vitalizing the individual and directing energy upward. A and F value, located in the, the lower abdomen, oversees the downward and outward flow of energy managing processes like elimination and reproduction. Sanav Vayu, positioned in the region of the navel, harmonizes energy within the body, governing digestion and assimilation. Udana Vayu, situated in the throat, orchestrates the upward movement of energy, fostering growth speech and spiritual experiences. Lastly, Vian Vu pervasive throughout the body, oversees circulation, integrating and coordinating the activities of all Vos, from physical circulation to energy flow through the nadis. These Vios highlight the intricate relationship between prana and the physical, mental, and spiritual aspects of human existence. When prana flows freely and harmoniously through the nadis, it nourishes every cell and aspect of our being, promoting health vitality and a sense of well-being. Blockages or imbalances in the flow of prana can lead to physical ailments, mental distress, and spiritual stagnation. Understanding and working with prana involves practices that enhance and balance its flow, such as pranayama breath control, exercises, meditation, yoga, arenas, and a balanced diet. Pranayama, for instance, includes techniques that regulate the breath, thereby directly influencing the flow of prana in the nadis and ensuring the proper functioning of the vias. Through these practices, individuals can cultivate a harmonious flow of prana, leading to improved health, heightened awareness, and a deeper connection to the spiritual essence of life. In contrast, certain behaviors can rapidly complete our inner prana supplies, for instance, spending excessive time under artificial light or interacting with negative people who bring down the mood are shyer ways to drain your prana reserves. Similarly, in ancient Chinese traditions, there exists a subtle force that flows through all living things, connecting us to the rhythm of the universe. This life force energy is known as qi in Japanese or chai in Chinese. Like prana chi is the essence of vitality and well-being. Energy blockages. Much like blockages in qi are believed to cause imbalances or spiritual illness, when qi flows freely and smoothly, we experience vibrant health and well-being in traditional Chinese medicine, the Concept of meridians or energy channels provides a framework for understanding the flow of Kai throughout the body. These meridians form a network that connects our internal organs, tissues, and energetic centers, allowing Kai to circulate and nourish every aspect of our being. Drawing from the ancient wisdom surrounding prana and chi, the conversation naturally evolves to include the philosophical insights of Confucius. His teachings resonate with the principles of harmony, balance, and moral rectitude living in the eth century. BCE, Confucius emphasized the importance of personal and governmental morality, the correctness of social relationships, justice, and sincerity. These principles, while not directly addressing the metaphysical energies of prana or chi, intersect with the broader. Understanding of how individuals interact with the world and the energy around them, Confucius advocated for the cultivation of virtue and a life lived in accordance with the day, or the way a concept that echoes the harmony sought through the balanced flow of prana. He believed that a well-ordered society could be achieved by individuals who embody ren benevolence and compassion, one of the E. Cardinal Virtues this pursuit of moral excellence and the emphasis on the health of the community
can be seen as a society application of maintaining and enhancing the flow of positive energy within and among individuals. Moreover, Confucius's concept of Zhong Yong, or the doctrine of the mean champions, the idea of equilibrium and moderation principles essential in maintaining a balanced flow of prana, or chai according to Confucius' true harmony, is achieved when people act with propriety, exercising restraint and moral judgment in their actions. This approach ensures the smooth flow of life's energies, fostering a healthy community and a virtuous life, by understanding these interconnected philosophies and energy systems, we can gain a holistic perspective on how to maintain our vitality and well-being. Recognizing and addressing energy blockages, whether through prana or chi, and adhering to principles of harmony and balance, as by Confucius, we can cultivate a life of health fulfillment and spiritual enrichment. Of course, chi and prana can and often do coexist within our bodies and higher selves regardless of our belief in their existence. When we speak of energy blockages, we're actually referring to prana or chi blockages. While mindfulness can help unclog minor blockages, stronger disruptions require more powerful techniques to restore balance. So how do we identify these blockages and alleviate their tension? One effective method is pranayama. Pranayama, a practice from the yogic tradition, involves specific breathing techniques that regulate and enhance the flow of prana within the body through. Pranayama practitioners can cleanse and purify the nardis, the subtle energy channels, thereby removing blockages and promoting the harmonious flow of prana throughout the system. By practicing pranayama, we cultivate a deeper connection with our breath, which serves as a direct gateway to our prana as we become more attuned to the subtle sensations and rhythms of our breath. We can consciously influence the flow of energy releasing stagnation and tension, pranayama techniques include various breath control exercises, such as alternate nostril breathing, nadi shodhana, which balances the flow of energy between the two hemispheres of the brain, and kapalabhati, a rapid breathing technique that invigorates the entire system and expels toxins. These practices not only clear energetic blockages, but also enhance. Overall vitality and mental clarity through consistent practice pranayama helps to develop an acute awareness of our internal energy. Dynamics enabling us to detect and address blockages before they manifest as physical or emotional symptoms. This proactive approach to energy management ensures that prana flows freely, fostering a state of balance and well-being. In summary, while mindfulness can manage minor blockages, Pranayama offers a powerful method to tack more significant disruptions in our energy flow. By mastering these breathing techniques, we can maintain a harmonious flow of prana promoting physical health, emotional stability, and spiritual growth. Commonly practiced pranayama techniques encompass a variety of methods aimed at harnessing the flow of prana within the body and mind. Nadi Shodhana, or alternate nostril breathing, fosters equilibrium and mental clarity. By alternating breath between nostrils, balancing, prana flow kapalabhati, the skull, shining breath revitalizes the body through vigorous exhalations, purifying the respiratory system, and removing stagnant energy or victorious breath induces deep rhythmic breathing with a gentle throat constriction, promoting PR flow and meditative states.